The morning of Tuesday, September 17, 2024, began like any other in Bamako, Mali's bustling capital, but normalcy was shattered in an instant. A wave of violence ripped through the city, targeting a military police center near Modibo Keita International Airport. Gunfire and explosions erupted sending plumes of smoke into the sky. Panic gripped the streets as residents scrambled for safety. The familiar sounds of urban life were replaced by the chilling sounds of war. Sirens wailed, a desperate call for order. The Malian military mobilized swiftly, deploying troops to confront the attackers. A tense standoff ensued, the fate of the city hanging in the balance. News of the attack spread rapidly, shocking the world. Bamako, known for its vibrant culture, was now synonymous with terror. The attack was a stark reminder of the fragility of peace in the Sahel region. Casualty numbers were difficult to come by amidst the chaos. The injured overwhelmed local hospitals, with medical staff battling fatigue to save lives. The human cost of the attack was painfully evident. As the dust settled, a chilling message reverberated across the internet. Jamaat Nasser al-Islam wal-Muslimin or Janim claimed responsibility. This group, allied with Al-Qaeda, has become synonymous with terror in the Sahel. Their claim, delivered with fanaticism, struck fear into the hearts of Malians. JNM boasted of their tactical prowess and commitment to their ideology. The attack was a message, intended to intimidate the Malian government and its allies. The international community condemned the attack, expressing solidarity with Mali. The attack highlighted the complex and intractable nature of the conflict in Mali. In the wake of the attack, Bamako was a city reeling. The streets were eerily quiet, patrolled by heavily armed soldiers. Residents emerged from hiding, surveying the damage with fear and defiance. The Malian army, led by Colonel Asimi Goita, moved swiftly to reassert control. Checkpoints sprung up across the city, manned by nervous soldiers. Security forces conducted exhaustive sweeps, searching for remnants of the attackers. The attack had immediate international repercussions, grounding flights and stranding travelers. Embassies issued security alerts, urging personnel to shelter in place. Aid agencies mobilized to provide assistance, while medical teams treated the wounded. The road to recovery would be long and arduous. The JNM attack on Bamako was a manifestation of Mali's deep-seated challenges. Mali has been locked in a deadly struggle against various armed groups, many affiliated with Al-Qaeda or the Islamic State. These groups have wreaked havoc across the country's north, displacing hundreds of thousands. Mali's political landscape has been further complicated by a series of coups and shifting alliances. The JNM attack on Bamako raised profound questions about Mali's future and the broader fight against extremism. It exposed vulnerabilities in the country's defenses, demonstrating JNM's ability to strike at the heart of the capital. This operation is likely to embolden JNM and other extremist groups, potentially leading to an escalation of violence. The international community watched with concern, highlighting the need for a comprehensive approach to address the root causes of instability. The attack's impact on Mali's economy is likely to be severe, disrupting trade and tourism. Heightened security measures and the perception of instability may deter foreign investment. This economic fallout could exacerbate existing grievances and create new opportunities for extremist groups. The attack underscored the limitations of military solutions and the need for a multifaceted approach. In the aftermath of the attack, Mali finds itself at a crossroads. The path forward is fraught with uncertainty, requiring courage and commitment to peace. The Malian government must restore security, rebuild trust, and address the root causes of the conflict. This will require a multi-pronged approach, combining military operations with efforts to promote economic development and social cohesion. The international community has a crucial role to play, providing financial aid, technical expertise, and diplomatic engagement. The fight against extremism is a complex challenge that requires a sustained and multifaceted approach. By working together, Mali and its partners can overcome this challenge. The goal is to build a more peaceful and prosperous future for all.